because I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to go boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing more than God bless America. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Still with you, still just out there. Still out there. 18 still with you, giving you a push. Yeah, good push. Don't let him slip. There you go. Still outside. Still just out there to 10. Clear up. Clear. In the corners, that white line is going to be William Byron's best friend. Only about lap 50, and we have caution out actually right now, Mike. It is Eric Jones from Joe Gibbs Racing, one of those four cars that dominated final practice. His Toyota was running in 12th place. Heavy damage coming into turn four. This kid's hot. Certainly it, it, right front it, it tire almost, went down. It definitely sure. looked like it just shot up the hill like something definitely happened to it. My heavy damage just flattened the right side of that car. Back to 10th place, Brad Kiz Lowski's been moving, and there is Matt DiBenedetto in the wall in turn two, and caution waves at lap 48 for the second time today. I don't know if a right front went down first, but he has a right front tire that's uh, definitely down here. I don't know if that's before or after contact. He's running 19th. See if he had made any contact, but ooh, ooh. clearly a right front tire yeah. down similar to Eric Jones. And, yeah. you know, there is an alliance between Joe Gibbs Racing and this 95 team. 73, the leader and co-favorite for this race, Man. Martin Truex, has been in the wall hard. Yeah, it sounded like a right front tire. Maybe, I'm not sure. It sounded like he said it went down. It just went down. Now, we've had cautions 20 laps, 20 laps, and 20 laps of green flag. I don't know if this was a tire issue, but if it is, those Toyotas had some kind of an issue. Guys, I don't know what happened. It just took off straight. Had it rubbed up over or something, I guess. I don't know. I was turning really good. Wow. When the 19 hit the wall, oh, uh oh. Stenhouse around, Stenhouse. perhaps off the nose of Kyle Busch. Through the synthetic turf he goes without any incident. I just can't say enough about what the. Yeah, just a big run from Kyle Busch. He gets really loose. Actually, I think he tried to stay away did, from yeah. the rear bumper of the 17, but he's carrying so much momentum. Makes contact, spins Ricky Stenhouse Jr. right around. Looked like 17 may have checked up a little bit, and, and Kyle had nowhere to go. Yeah, and remember, that's old tire. Stenhouse Jr. had stayed out that last caution. 18 of Kyle Busch put new, fresh Goodyears on his car. That's a, 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 I just, I just love that. I, I just love that you can go through that turf and not tear anything up. The rest of this stage, as for the lead, Harvick and Keslowski side by side off oh, board. He's oh, gonna get oh, one car got turned oh. into the wall, coming off four, and that was Hemrick. And that's the risk that you take when you're on those older tires. All these other guys have new tires. You can get yourself in trouble on right like there. They get four wide. He tries to give ooh, one of ooh. Kurt Busch some room. But unfortunately, on the outside of him was the 14. Yeah, His teammate going to go to the outside of the 18 of Kyle Busch. He's going to get him. He wants Brad Keselowski wins the stage from Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, and Kevin Harvick. But Kyle Busch hanging right with him. And there's yeah, the Chris issue with that And that will be a caution at lap 127. Chris Buescher up in turn number four. Looks like a right front again, Mike. I'm not sure, but the well, right remember, front he, is soft. He scraped the wall earlier, and, and they just rode it out. Hoping to get to a caution flag and hoping it wouldn't be him. You see there, the car just starts up and just goes. Probably from possibly the damage from hitting the wall oh, earlier. No, can no, save no. enough fuel. Oh, Hamlin, Hamlin in the wall. Another Toyota. Is this a tire issue again? Certainly has that look. That is three of the five Toyotas in the race that have been in the wall. So far, no caution. Here it is. Caution, there it is. Caution, caution, caution. Lap 161, eighth caution. I think he's old. Oh, we've got an issue with Ryan Priest, right front tire. And Ryan Priest's Kroger car has been in the fence. Remember, his teammate has the, the 37 car as well. Yeah, if Ryan Priest made any contact with the wall prior to this happening, 
the rookie was in 26th place. A week from Wednesdays back in his modified up at Thompson Connecticut. Uh, for a race but you can see the right front there's a right, right front is yeah. down yep. already. Final lap stage two. Bowman way up high. On the rim ride, see if he can come on the outside and do anything, but I think that two's got him covered. Brad Kozlowski is too much for him, and Team Penske wins stage two. Kozlowski, Bowman, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, William Byron. Oh, turn two. Contact and a spin coming off two to the back stretch, and heavy contact for Bailey Curry. Boy, I'll say that nose is crushed. It's a hard Bam. hit, but it's a real hit to a small budget team like Rick Ware when, when they destroy a race car like that. Oh. And Martin Truex picks up his second stage win of the season. And we back at 10th place, Larson and Hamlin. And yes, Kyle Larson in the 42. Ooh, oh, ooh, boy. Ooh. oh, the one oh, car goes no. around. And he saves it. No. Oh, no. Right oh, oh my gosh. That How did so Harvick close. miss him? Unbelievable. Unreal is right. Look at that. Just what? peeled that right for, uh, left front. Yeah, right peeled the fender right off of it. I don't, I, man, it doesn't look like much other damage. Kurt uh oh, Bush. got some hanging out May 18. That was fifth place, Kurt Busch. All right, see what happens here. When you get more aggressive in these later stages. Oh, she just, just gets loose. loose. Yeah, she just gets loose. Kyle got a little bit of that. Watch this. Yo. Side skirt behind the jack post is sealed. Everything else looks okay externally. I can see daylight out the rocker panel, so whatever. I'll probably knock the crash panel out. Uh, yeah. Yep, the splitter on the number one is going to catch that rocker panel right there. A lot of right content. at the bottom of the car. Yeah, you can see the nose on the one car kind of buckle up as it gets into the side of 18. So that's some heavy contact. We've talked Just about incredible racing mid pack. Oh, there's man, there's the something 22, wrong. Well, the no, 20, there's something wrong back there. Well, 22 Spin, mid oh, yeah, back stretch. Wreck. Oh, he and was. hard in the wall goes Austin Dillon and Kyle Larson. Something was wrong with that 42 car. Oh, my gosh. They're still wrecking. Both Dillon brothers are in it. Well, I wonder, did, did that 42 make contact with somebody, maybe cut a tire down? And so he's, he's just getting loose Ooh. right here as the 14. That goes to his outside. It looked to me like like Kyle Larson at that point as oh, he went in oh. the corner. Man, heavy, Boy. heavy impact. Yeah, the three of Austin Dillon really. Some, something went on with the 42. I can't quite figure out what it was, but something was going on with the 42. And then Larson comes up, collects Ty Dillon and Ryan Priest. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for Ty Dillon. It, uh, Second here, Austin Dillon getting the throttle, hoping he could squeeze by. Truex can get there. Or can he clear him? I don't think he's going to clear him right here. Ooh, it's going to be close. Drag race down the back. Oh, they make contact. Oh, he got into him. And goes around a slower car. Well, in the lap car, BJ McLeod put his left tires down on the apron to be his. Oh, Denny Hamlin's up in the wall. We've already seen this team on these long runs. Oh, yeah. Right front, right down. Front. Trouble at the right front. I just wonder, is that going to save the 19 of Mark Church Jr., who's also shown that same issue earlier in this race? That's going to bring out the caution. caution. Hamlin was sixth. He will surrender third oh, that's place. Oh, car. And there's his teammate, Kozlowski, same in big issue, trouble. I think. He's got a broken track bar. I can see his rear end house is moving from side to side. Caution. So Blaney That's shoots through and should stay on the lead lap. Oh, boy. Yeah, that right rear tire is down, so 
might not be a similar issue as the 12 car. So forth. Here is David Reagan's radio. Give me a freaking break. 19 just came up and asked if we were going to drop to the rear. So what do you expect us to do, dude? We ain't going to drop to the rear with five to go. We're on the lead lap. We're leading the race. No, we're not going to drop to the rear. <laughs> Green flag. Oh, buddy. Truex is in trouble. Got to get to the inside. Got to make a move. David Reagan gets out first. Here's Kyle Busch in the middle. Oh, three wide. Oh boy. A oh, four oh, wide. Here he goes. Down Rex the back. To the bottom. On the inside. Didn't you say that inside was the place to I be? I like the inside. Four wide. For now. How did they make it that far? I don't know if they're going to make it off of turn four, though. Whoa, hang on to her, Martin. Logano all over Truex. I think Logano is. Look at that. The, the hood flaps are going up and down. Four wide at the strike for Tender. The white flag waves. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. I didn't think they'd make it to the white flag, but <laughs> some miraculous way they did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't think the 19 car, after he hit the wall in the beginning of the race, would win it. But he did all the round and go to somebody on the back. I don't know who that was. 11. Boy, heavy. Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin. Hamlin. Heavy crash. Big crash. Most everybody gets through there. No caution. Checkered flag in the air. Martin Truex wins the Coca-Cola 600. You're a man! Did have a wrench on the back. That's a winning number right there. That's what I like. Vince Welch is there. Martin Truex Jr. holding his hands up in the air like, how did we do it? I think that's a great question. How do you take a wrecked race car and make a four wide pass for the win? And take the checkered flag. How do you take a wrecked race car and make a four wide pass for the win? You guys aren't supposed to do that. Let me get this helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people having a good old time tonight. Yes, that was incredible. Uh, what a race. Uh, my good buddy Johnny Morris. They decided to put red, white, and blue on this car, and um, you know this is for everybody that gave their life, so we can be out here tonight. Nicholas Knoll on my on my race car, um, the USO, Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops, one hell of a team, man. We just uh, we never gave up on it. You know, I, I thought we were done. We blew a tire and hit the wall. Just kept fighting, kept fighting, and uh, what a race there at the end. That was uh, that was pretty wild. So really happy. These mile and a half have been tough on us this year, but uh, starting to get them figured out now. At what point did you feel like you had it, a car that could win? Before I hit the fence the first time, before I hit blue tire there early, I, I was like, man, this thing's unbelievable. And then it was really tight, and we had to just keep freeing it up. And then we got too loose, and then we just went back on an adjustment. But um, just thanks to Cole and all the guys, you know, and James and just everybody back in the shop, TRD engines, incredible. We're gaining on it. So uh, just really thankful. Got to say hi to Sherry back home. She stayed home taking care of our dog. He's been a little bit sick. Love you, babe. And uh, see, you, see you in a little bit. I'm going to have a few cold beverages. That's a long, that's a long night right there. <laughs> Special celebration for Coach Gibbs uh, being selected for the Hall of Fame this week. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable you, to think a guy can be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Just tells you how special he is. And uh, I'm super honored to drive for him and um, for his team and what he's built there. And um, hopefully I can continue to deliver what he, uh, what he hired me for.